For today's episode, I thought I would do things a little differently. This isn't a scrapped pitch like the Super Mario Bros. comics or the scrapped concept like the alternate New Donk City. For this episode, I'm focusing on a character that has been subtly teased for the longest time. This character I'm talking about is the infamous Mew 3. Now to understand this saga a little bit better, here is a brief history on this mysterious character. Clap! To start things off, let's talk about Mew, the ancient powerful Pokemon that is so rare it is said to be a mirage by many experts. and possibly extinct altogether. Then comes Mewtwo. Its creation was sparked by an expedition funded by Team Rocket. After years of horrific gene splicing from Mew's found DNA, the quest to create the world's strongest Pokemon was achieved, and Mewtwo was born. So where does Mew 3 come into the fold? Of course, growing up in the 90s when Pokemon Blue and Red was out, there is speculation and rumors everywhere that if you did certain things within the game, you can capture this Pokemon. Like having both a level 100 Mew and Mewtwo in your party, then defeating Elite Four and resting back at your home. Home, you would awake with both of them combining into Mew 3. Of course, against my third grade wishes, this was false. There's been several times Pokemon fans have been hyped by reveals of other Pokemon thinking Game Freak was finally giving us Mew 3. Like for the reveals of Mega Mewtwo X and Y, and also when a silhouetted Lucario was being teased for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Then there are some fans that consider Mewtwo in his cyber armor from the first movie as Mew 3, since it was stated in the film that it was stronger than Mewtwo. But this to me is a huge stretch since it's just Mewtwo with added armor to focus its own abilities. There is however something very interesting about the first movie, but I'll get to that in a bit. Let's first talk about the infamous Pokemon live show. Yes, the live show. I actually went to this thing as a kid and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. In the show, once again, the evil leader Giovanni creates Mecha Mewtwo a new robotic creation, like Mew, who can learn any Pokemon attack. While this show is certainly a side story and hardly has anything from it reflected in the games or the show, Mecha Mewtwo was considered by some at the time as Mew 3. However, it has quietly faded away, and that was pretty much it. But there are those, like myself, that will never forget. Now, let's talk about the Pokemon manga. In one of the early issues, Red's Clefairy found Bill's DNA machine and accidentally mixed its own DNA with that of Mewtwo. It emerged looking like Mewtwo and proclaimed itself as Mew3, making this possibly the first and only official Mew3 that we'll ever get. But there is one last thing back to Pokemon the first movie. It was actually given a mention in the film. When the scientists have finally created Mewtwo, during their celebrations, a scientist remarks that they should get started on Mew3. However, the events after this did not not go as planned with Mewtwo breaking out, murdering all the scientists, scrapping their plans to further their experiments, and also live. So that is it for Mew 3. Again, not a real Pokemon, and we as fans don't even know if there's been discussions behind closed doors or even a concept for this character, but it's certainly been teased by us and, of course, Game Freak themselves. Until then, this character or non-character is unfortunately scrapped. Thank you so much for checking out this episode on Mew 3. Can you imagine if this was a real Pokemon? Let me know if this is something you'd actually like to see in the games as the question of the day. And speaking of question of the day, in the last episode I asked you guys if you'd like to see Archie Comics make a super Super Mario Bros. comic series. A big thank you to everyone commenting on this with a special highlight to Blitz Wolfer, Mr. Bendy the Hedgehog, Nathaniel, and the real Delphox 616. Now, every day that passes, we're inching closer and closer and closer to a crisscross box giveaway. And let me tell you, we are very close to a mini giveaway on our Instagram. So make sure to follow there when that goes live. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to keep up to date on everything for this channel and to be a part of the crisscross crew on here and on Discord. And well, I guess that's it for today's episode. Remember, you are all amazing humans. Have an awesome day. My name is Chris, and you have just been crisscrossed. Peace out.